Hey you all, it's me Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'm gonna draw a Chinese delineated painting, cause I guess there's not many this kind of video on YouTube. So let's just make one by myself. First, we have to prepare ink slab, as known as ink stone. We have to prepare a certain amount of water as well, in order to rub down the ink. Now I'm testing the density of the ink on the post-it note. So these are actually the previous Chinese delineated paintings that I've drew, which is bamboo, as you know. It's officially my first work, so it's not that good. And this one is just an outline of orchid, which is a typical flower in Asia. Now, I have to measure the paper and cut it into a suitable size. The paper I use it's called mica paper. Using this kind of paper will let your ink bleed away. Then I have to make it straight. So, you know, before we draw anything on it, we have to put some baby powder on top of it. Do you feel like it's strange? Um, because if you don't apply it. It's so hard for you to draw smooth lines. Then we use the tissue to rub on it. So these are actually my Chinese um, painting brushes. This one is actually for the outline. So the tip is pretty small and tiny. So it's pretty much like it. Um, water ink that we've made so these are some of the drafts and nooks that i have and i have to prepare a light board actually the function of the light board is for transferring the draft into the mica paper that i've mentioned Probably you guys don't know, cause like drawing Chinese delineated painting is super needs your focus. Like I drew it wrong, so I have to like draw again. Each line you have to be the same and have to be smooth as well so sometimes you definitely need to pay so much attention on drawing things so usually when I'm drawing um, the outline of this I have to listen to some car music every time when I listen to some music that involves human voice or vocals I was like shaking you know <laughs> so at first, it's pretty hard for me to control the line because it's always so easy for me to shake. But after you practice a lot, and I think it's not that hard, I guess. Like every time when I draw on, on the paper, I feel like it makes me so calm. Um, basically, the rest of the video is just me drawing the outline because I haven't finished the coloring as well. This is actually my first time kind of like putting the camera and filming myself drawing so it's kind of made me feel like a little bit uncomfortable and kind of affects me to draw so this time i just film the process of me just drawing the draft and outline so yeah then i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video
before the end of this video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video, or if you have any ideas or things you want to say, you can also comment down below. You will never know how much does it mean to me. Each like and comment that's like so motivates me to make videos again and again. Yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoy. I will see you guys next time. Bye!